Greetings everyone, and welcome to my coin collection. Today's coin is the final coin of five in the America the Beautiful Quarters set produced in 2018. You can find links to my previous quarters from this series in the top right corner or down below in the description. After the success of the US State Quarters series, the America the Beautiful series, focusing on one of the beautiful places in the national park system from each state and territory, was intended to capitalize on that success. Beginning with Hot Springs National Park from Arkansas, five new quarters were produced each year from 2010 to 2020. In 2021, the final quarter in the series was released, the Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site in Alabama. This coin represents the national park from the state of Minnesota, Voyageurs National Park. Voyageurs National Park was authorized on January 8, 1971 and established on April 8, 1975 to preserve the outstanding scenery, geological conditions and waterway system inherent to the park. It is in northern Minnesota near the Canadian border and covers an area of 218,200 acres or approximately 883 square kilometres, which makes it larger than the nations of Kiribati, Bahrain, Dominica, Tonga and Singapore, just to name a few. It is known for its forests, waterways and huge island dotted Rainy, Cabetagama and Namakan lakes. The name Voyageur is the French word for traveller, representative of those who began journeying through these interconnected waterways, one of the most important segments of the fur trade route used to open the Great Northwest over 250 years ago. Signs of Native Americans, fur traders and homesteaders, signs of logging, mining and commercial fishing are scattered throughout the park, with evidence of over 10,000 years of human life and use. Voyageurs National Park is an adventure wonderland all year long, full of exposed rock ridges, cliffs, wetlands, forests, streams and lakes. This is a place of transition between land and aquatic ecosystems, between southern boreal and northern hardwood forests, and between wild and developed areas. This variety also creates an ideal home for a diversity of wildlife, including bald eagles, loons, black bears, deer, beaver, moose and wolves. The Organic Act of 1916, which created the National Park Service, decreed that nature and culture were to be protected hand in hand. In 2002, Voyageurs National Park designated 13 visitor destination sites within its boundaries. These destinations can be reached only by boat and provide visitors with an opportunity to learn about the park and its significance. Many of these destinations are historic structures that are being preserved by the National Park Service. There are three versions of the coin in this set. Two in brilliant uncirculated condition from the Denver and Philadelphia mints and a proof condition coin from the San Francisco mint. There is a mint mark for each of the different mints below the words In God We Trust on the right of the coin. Apart from the fact that it says on the packaging, you can tell that the San Francisco one is proof from the cameo style finish on the portrait of George Washington, America's first president, on the obverse of the quarter. On the reverse of the coin, we see a common loon with a rock cliff in the background, representing some of the wildlife and the natural beauty to be found in the park. Notably, another coin which features a loon is the Canadian dollar coin, so much so that it is colloquially known as the loony. Given how close Voyageurs is to Canada, it is no surprise that the same wildlife appears. The name of the national park is at the top, the year of mintage at the base, the state name to the left, and the motto E Pluribus Unum, out of many one, to the right. The designer's and sculptor's initials are just below the loon in the water. The 2008 legislation which created the America the Beautiful series gave the Treasury Secretary the option of ordering a second round of 56 National Parks quarters by 2018, but Stephen Mnuchin did not do so. Instead, with the passage of the Circulating Collectible Coin Redesign Act of 2020, this series will be succeeded by quarters featuring American women from 2022 to 2025, 
a series commemorating the United States semi-quincentennial in 2026, and a series depicting youth sports from 2027 to 2030. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this coin with me. If you have, please like the video and leave a comment down below. You might also consider subscribing to my channel so that you do not miss any of the upcoming coins in my collection.